Attention Donald Trump supporters. If you think what happened to you is bad, imagine being blacklisted by the liberals in the 408 area. I am being persecuted for my political views. And the video footage you are watching right now is nothing compared to what they have done and that I have proven. I have them on record under my most damning videos playlist admitting to trying to set me up to get me involuntarily admitted into the psych ward. I have them on record caught gassing me with other people noticing it as well. They have actually planted some sort of a chemical fume dispenser in my room, most likely in the air conditioning ducts. They have threatened my parents in order to make them silent and complicit. And I have my mom covertly recorded admitting that yes, there are chemical fumes in my room and no, she doesn't know what it is, but it makes her very sick and nauseated. So when Donald Trump's supporters are attacked in a rally in San Jose, I'm not surprised in the slightest. I kept trying to tell people, look, because I'm so critical about Democrats, there are a whole bunch of Democrats and Freemasons and all the groups that I criticize teaming up together. There are gang members. There are police officers. There's intelligence agents you know, who have identified themselves to me as such to make sure that I feel the pressure. And I'm being persecuted. And that is what the next clip I'm going to play you after this is about. Okay? Now, I don't take sides with the left-right paradigm. But I do know this firsthand, that liberals seem to support the New World Order more than Republicans. The New World Order is disproportionately feminist, it is disproportionately gay. And by the way, one of the videos that was posted yesterday is a white girl attacked by Mexicans at Trump rally, San Jose, California. These so-called feminists and their minions and the male feminists, the male gays, you know, throwing things at an old, older white lady. She may have been being obnoxious. But, you know, this, this goes back to liberals attacking morality. I mean, I was taught to never hit a lady. I don't know about you. The liberals have no problem hitting women. You know, a lot of them are criminals who, you know, beat their wives. But they also have no problem killing babies. That's why abortion is legal. And everything that is sacrilegious is legal. Okay, so, you know, is it acceptable that there are massive political groups persecuting people for their political views with impunity. I don't think there was a single arrest. This is how it is. Now, I personally am not a patriot. I think America is a disgrace and the corruption that you find in the left-right paradigm is also endemic. It is pervasive in society. For those of you who are new, I have a 3,000 top martial artist challenge. For anyone who can beat me, you get $25 just to show, and 3,000 if you win, you pay nothing. If you lose, and I have to constantly get this message out. Um, so far, I have about 500,000 people aware. I'm hoping to get a million by December 20th on the three year uh, anniversary of my top martial artist challenge. So yes, you know, what is going on with me is exactly what you would expect. They are, they are able to team up and single me out because I'm not part of a major political group and nor will I ever be. I will always be an independent, uncontrolled political activist and uncontrolled revolutionary. Gang stalking is real. See my videos, uh, my extremely damning video playlist, I believe it's called, not most damning. Uh, correction from earlier. I have definitively proven that gang stalking is real. The Santa Cruz uh, 
a Santa Cruz lieutenant spoke on it on TV, the mayor of Stockton, the city manager, they've also spoken on it. Okay. So see San Jose and Morgan Hill group stalking and these communities are scared of the government. Government gang stalking cops and informants are rapists. See phone hijacking, I've proven they're, they're hijacking my phone. They're prank calling me, they're trolling me. They're following me around, they're staring at me. They're vandalizing my stuff and the cops don't care, you know, they're helping them do it. You know, some of these people are on duty uh, sheriff deputies. So again, the, the playlist is called Extremely, Extremely Damning Videos. Playlist. So thank you. Um, pay attention to the next clip. It is very important. Uh, I describe the importance of being a man and manning up. And I really go into detail about why it is weak to conform and how there's a difference between being a warrior and being some sort of a soldier or a trooper, you know, or a gang member. A warrior follows a code and codes come from cults, religious cults of old that these new cults are kind of sissy watered down versions of the old religious cults that gave us morality. And we see these new age kind of cults promoting homosexuality and um, feminism and transhumanism, eugenics, what have you, to bring us into a sort of technocracy where a bunch of secret societies determine who has the merit to have any given job, a very, you know, um, immoral, unscrupulous society of despotism. Barry Goldwater has said the same thing. He said, yes, conformity will lead us to despotism. And I'm pretty sure he's affiliated with the secret societies, the old problem solution. Stay tuned for the next clip. First of all, I'd like to thank Jessica for being a perp and following orders from someone who isn't that smart and giving me more proof for my series. I want you all to ask yourselves, why did this person agree to meet me four or five times and block me for no apparent reason three times? And when asked to explain herself, why she blocks and unblocked me, there's no answer. So she basically had raised the price. You know, it started off at, a, I think it was 30 or $40. Dollars. It went up to 50 and 60 and then 100 and then it went to 200 I tried to negotiate with her for 120 after telling some jokes to calm her down, you know, um, because she was acting unreasonable. Then she blocked me for no reason. And I'll, I'll show you, you know, the screenshot should be up on the screen right now. Of course, they had chosen someone who um, had a mixed black baby that, you know, someone who, to make a long story short, is not my type. Just like everyone else, they try to force on me. So with that being said, I'd like you all to see that when I reflect on my videos, the video I made about women recently, that's about 40 minutes or so, it is not a very good video. It's not as good as this video. And I'm not even done with this video yet. And I know why. Because I was covertly drugged it was late at night after I'd been drugged during the day quite a bit, as opposed to this one, which is about noon. Um, let's see, what's the date today? Uh, noon on June 3rd, 2016. It's actually 126. So this video is a lot more calm. I'm a lot more coherent and articulate. And I'm speaking in a way that is less agitated. The environmental factors and the drugging factor are thoroughly considered. And I already know how this presentation is going to play out compared to the other one. And of course, I've proven it with more than just my own testimony and opinions, but with dozens of other people, including the person who knows me best. And keep in mind that there is a potential for the New World Order to later contact these people and get them to change their stories. The same way the Mafia does it with the witnesses against them. Some of them get killed, some don't show up, and some are coerced into changing 
their stories. With that being said, what do you call someone who knows the difference between right and wrong, but does the wrong thing for the respect of from the you know of those people who are wrong as well, and for social acceptance? Well, you call them weak now, don't you? And they also need to hear this. You have to put things in a way that doesn't sit well with people and it forces people to realize they're wrong for them to change. It doesn't guarantee that they will change, but it is definitely a step in the right direction. Every day I am stronger than the rest of America. And it needs to be said. How many of you think that weaker people who are doing what the New World Order wants them to do, including playing stupid about the people who are stronger than them, who conform less than them, are going to admit that they're weaker? So therefore, who's going to point it out? The people in charge? The social engineers? The social controllers? The shells? The neutrals? No. It is going to be a stronger person. And in the absence of other strong-willed individuals, the strongest person himself needs to point it out. I'll give you a thousand dollars if you can prove that point wrong. Of course, I'm sure as you all know, whenever I offer money, it's because I know that I'm right. Whether it is my top martial artist challenge or the statement I just made not too long ago. We live in a society of cowards and weaklings. And one day some of you will do the right thing, I'm sure. And hopefully it will not be too late. And the majority of those who do will do so after I am dead. So I want you people to pray to God and mention me in your prayers and say, thank you, Lord, for sending Chuku of Mecca to teach me these lessons that help me come closer to you and distance myself from the inferior New World Order philosophies, such as Satanism, criminality, LGBT philosophies, feminism, atheism, racism, and eugenics. Men of honor do not conform to the inferior philosophies of oppressors. Men of honor find themselves and their inner honor from God. Not some perversion of the Bible, but the true morality that is found in the Bible. That's what it means to fight for honor. It means to fight for God. These principles going back to the beginning. Whether you look at it Christianity or whether you look at the original religions of the world, African shamanism, if you will, African spiritual traditions and religious systems, honor came from God. That is how it was defined by spiritual men and wise men who turned to God to define it. Everything else is just something else. So to fight for honor means that you are fighting a very natural, a very spiritual war. And in nature, in human nature, homosexuality is not acceptable. It is not okay. It is not a part of fighting for honor. It is a weakness. You know, bending over for another man, conforming to feminism and giving in to their pussy power 
is not an act of a warrior who is fighting for honor. A warrior is superior to a gangster. See, what it truly means to be a warrior, it means that you are fighting for honor. Otherwise, you are simply a trooper or a soldier when you're serving the state. A warrior serves divine principles that are the principles that I serve. I've studied religion for quite a long time, specifically and with an emphasis on honor, morality, and truth. You cannot fight for honor as an atheist. You are fighting for a new world order philosophy. Straight from the playbook of white Jewish conspirators and whites, you know, Angles, Marx, Stalin, Lenin, what have you. Mao, Castro, whites, whites, Hispanics, white Jews. Now I'm not saying you can't fight for honor and be white, but I am saying you cannot fight for honor and conform to white social norms, mainstream white social norms. I know many of you will not change your ways you have fallen into their snare, into their trap. You are snared, you are trapped. Women, money, alcohol. The Bible says don't be sexually immoral. It says be sober and be vigilant because the devil is a roaring lion that is seeking to devour you. Matthew 19, 23, then Jesus said to his disciples, who said it? Jesus, truly I tell you, it is hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. And I would like to elaborate, not as a person that's rewriting the Bible, but someone who is explaining the Bible. For this same reason, it is easier for that camel to go through that eye of a needle than it is for someone who plays stupid about the significance of behavior. If you were to take, if you were to be filmed all of your life, and every time you were upset, someone said, look, that is mania. That is bipolar. That is a bipolar episode. That is an example of psychosis. That is symptoms of psychosis, psychotic behavior. That is schizophrenia, where every little mistake you made, you know, oh, he doesn't know as much as he thinks he does out of your entire life. For the same reason, you cannot look at 4,000 plus videos in a little less than seven years and turn around and say, well, every time this man is angry, even if he's doing martial arts, it's a symptom of mania or psychosis. Because as human beings, sometimes we are calm. Sometimes we are angry and our behavior reflects these things. Now, I would love for any mental health expert, in fact, I will give them $3,000 if they can definitively prove to me the universal behaviors that automatically come when someone is angry. There is no such thing. We all express it differently. To claim that you understand uh, someone's anger, you know, either means you you know, have been studying this person diligently their entire life and you think that you know or you're just a fucking liar. And anyone who really uses their head and thinks about what I am saying in my videos knows that I'm right. I make videos such as this one to show you that 
I reflect on my other videos. I see the same thing that you see when I'm observing it, except for when I'm analyzing it, I thoroughly analyze it, and I'm not influenced by hypocrites, liars, and a desire to conform. I'm fighting for honor, not for riches, social acceptance, and pussy. For honor and God. A warrior will always be greater than a soldier, a gangster, a cop, or anything else. Look at the Bible. You know, was Joshua, you know, the same as, you know, the, some kind of um, authority figure that wasn't divinely inspired? Was he the same as an average cop? Were the Jews who fought in battles divinely inspired on their way to Israel the same as some sort of tax-collecting Egyptian? Were the Jewish warriors the same as the Jewish social controllers? No. There is an order in the universe, and the rich people are not very high up at all. It goes back to Matthew 19, 23, and James 5, 1 through 7, and more. The order goes something like this. God, then Jesus, then the angels, the prophets, the saints, the warriors, and everyone else. So I say to all you rich people, know your place. And I say to all you people who are weak, find some strength. 